Okay, well I didn't even make it out of the parking lot and I ran into the freaking thing. to or back to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing a super super exciting video I feel like I always say that but this one is extra exciting um, as you can tell by the thumbnail and title of this video I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a room makeover if you guys follow me on Instagram at emilygrace.26 then you guys have seen a little bit of this already just really excited I think this is gonna be a super fun video I've been wanting to kind of make some minor adjustments to my room and do some little updates that is what we're gonna be doing in this video I'll show you what my room looks like starting out and kind of log the process as I make those changes and give you a little bit of a room tour at the end really quickly the things that I'm planning on are updating I guess are a couple furniture updates so I think I talked about this on Instagram I, I have this Ikea kind of cabinet dresser nine door thing here and then I have this vintage dresser here it's been my family for a really long time I have a matching nightstand right next to my bed and my headboard kind of goes with that same set I have a desk that's like right in front of me what my tripod is currently sitting on and it is from Ikea and matches this it's the same drawers as those and I have a vanity that's totally different from any of these vintage furniture is just looking a little bit rough I love the fact that it is vintage and been in my family for a long time but it's just the paint is really chip drawers are just they get really stuck when I pull them out I can't fit a lot of clothes in them I'm just getting a little bit old I just feel like it would be nice to get some new furniture especially something that kind of matches the Ikea furniture um, the Ikea furniture I feel like has a really fresh sleek modern look and then those are very antique and vintage so I feel like it kind of of like clashes a little bit camp furniture is a really good price I thought that would just be a nice little update to my room and it would also be practical because it would hold a lot more clothes and the doors would just be bigger and they would kind of come out a little bit smoother whereas these ones get stuck I have more of the modern look in my room and have all the pieces kind of match a little bit better I ordered a dresser and a nightstand it's supposed to come this Friday it's currently Tuesday but I just have a feeling it's probably not gonna come on Friday packing information has not updated at all since I ordered it this video won't really I won't be able to upload it until I actually get the IKEA furniture I think it would be nice if I had a new bed frame as well because it would match with everything else like all the other furniture but I also don't think it's a necessity because you don't really notice it with my pillows that might be an update for later the other update is some LED lights those are so popular right now and super cute I just ordered them from Amazon and they came in the mail today I ordered them a few days ago so that's what we're gonna do today I do have these little picture frames they're really cute I love them I definitely don't want to get rid of them I just feel like they're not super great for this area of my room right now they're just so mixed match i feel like the two next to each other they're totally different sizes and shapes especially with everything else in my room the two of them don't really match i want to get like two little like, matching kind of like palm tree pictures or maybe a mirror those are kind of the things i'm thinking about for right now so let's just go ahead and get started with the room transformation I forgot to record it. Took the lights like literally just out of the little like circle. I just plugged them into the wall and I don't think I'm going to actually stick them down. I think I'm just going to kind of like take tape and kind of tape it down at the corners because I don't want this to be stuck on my mirror forever. Okay, so this is the final product. I think it looks super cute. It looks really pink in the camera, but it actually is more purple in person. Um, but I think it looks really cute and it adds like a nice vibe to my room. So today I don't have any more any new like updates I guess to my room but I'm gonna be doing some kind of like organizing and decluttering the Ikea furniture did not come in when it was supposed to it's now been a few days later and it's still not coming in the tracking is not updated I just wanted to do a little bit of decluttering and organizing and preparation for when the Ikea delivery does come and I can really kind of get started currently my dresser is really looking messy actually um, I kind of started to pick it apart and then I realized I should be filming this. I normally have this little perfume tray up on here, but I might have mentioned it in the last, like, first part of this video that I kind of feel like it's not really belonging because a lot of the perfume that I have is just really old. I just don't really use these because as much as I love them, it's like they're really old now. They're obviously, like, yellow. I wear this Glossier fragrance every single day. Like, I literally 
it smells better than anything and I never wear anything else. Like it's truly just my everyday scent. I just don't think all of this needs to be displayed. Be trying to minimalize what is up here. This used to just contain my everyday jewelry and now it just has so much in it. So I'm gonna try to minimalize this as well. I don't really know what to put up here because I've had the same thing up here for years. This looks kind of lame, but I like that it doesn't look as cluttered. So a little update, I kind of tried to make this look better, but I'm still not like totally happy with it. Um, I don't know, I haven't bought like new decorations from my room in a long time, so I want it to like look cute because I never take the time to actually like revamp my room. So I think I'm just going to take a little trip to Target. I actually haven't really gone anywhere during all of quarantine. I haven't been to Target in two months. I haven't hardly been, I've been less than five places in two months, so it's gonna be really fun to actually get out of the house. Um, I'm obviously gonna wear a mask. I think it would just look nice if I have maybe two big things on the end and nothing in the middle, so it'll look less cluttery. Might see for those picture frames what they have as well. I'm wearing jeans and the sweatshirt. I was thinking this would be cute in the corner where my Alex 9 door currently is. I was gonna move the Alex 9 drawer over to where my vanity is, like right next to it. But I don't know if I should get it until after I've actually moved everything around or if I should get it now. Um, I was thinking that'd be cute. <laughs> Back from Target, I got a little fuzzy ottoman thing and then I got some white flowers and a little vase. They really were super picked over. There was not much there. I think I'm just gonna focus on decluttering this. Vanity is, it's a mess. And there's the end result of the decluttering. I think it looks much, much better now. Got rid of one of the makeup brush holders because they were really just makeup brushes that I don't use. I got rid of one of the lipstick holders because I definitely don't use those lipsticks on a daily basis. So I had a lot more palettes out um, that just kind of accumulated. So I just picked a couple of the ones I use actually every day. Just kind of trimmed down on the clutter. I totally forgot to film this because this was has been like two or three weeks ago that I started filming this video. I am still waiting for my Ikea furniture. I don't think it's ever going to come. Just wanted to do a couple quick little updates, minor updates, but I literally just hung these picture frames and realized that I forgot to film them. These two picture frames, I got them from Target. They are actually on sale for $40 currently at the time, at right now, like right now, I don't know when this video will get posted instead of 80. So I got a really good deal on these. They have a nice kind of like wood frame and they're matted and they're just like very nice. That's what those look like. They do look a little plain compared to what I had before, um, but I really like that. They just look a little more simplistic and more uniform. Those look super nice. Here's what it looks like kind of from a distance. So yeah. I also um, cleared this off. I don't remember what it looked like last time I showed you, but I pretty much took everything off of it. I took the perfume tray off and um, I went to Target and I got some things, but I ended up just putting this Chanel book. I actually got this for Christmas and stacked the plant that I already had on top of it. And over here, I just kind of have a few random things that I already had. I'm going to replace this with a white vase that I um, ordered online from Urban Outfitters. It's back ordered, so I won't get it for a few weeks. And then I was gonna put some pompous grass that I ordered from Amazon. I will link it below. I think that's like the only updates that I have for you guys right now. I do have this little white furry ottoman. It's just kind of chilling there, but um, I don't really know where to put it until I get the Ikea furniture. Hey guys, so the day has finally come. I am at Ikea. I know, it's crazy. Um, today is June. 
June 6th. I ordered this on May 7th, so it has been a whole month. You might be thinking, like, you delivered this. Like, shouldn't it just be coming to your house? You're right. So what I did, I decided to, since my order wanted to just like literally never come, I'm going to dispute it with my credit card because it's like literally has not updated. I went on the Ikea website and I placed a click and collect order. I had to do it at midnight because it's always full of capacity. Like you can't, they're full on click and collect orders. And that was a couple days ago. And so now I'm here picking up my curbside click and collect order. I didn't think it was actually going to work, but it is, it's happening, so we'll see. I was told like by my email to not come pick up the order unless I got a second email saying that my order was actually ready. But I was like, you know what? I want my dresser. I'm just coming and I'm gonna tell them I want my dresser. So I decided to just go ahead and come, even though I didn't get the email saying my order's ready. So I'm here. I pulled into the click and collect parking space and it said to just text a certain number saying you're here and you're ready for your order. That's what I've done and it said that they are pulling my order right now. I'm really excited to see if I actually get my dresser. Checking the website and the website says that the stores are closed. It says that my specific Ikea location is closed. I've checked like Google and I get here and Ikea is open. It is open for business. It is not closed. Like it is packed. I could have just walked into Ikea and got it. That is what's happening. That is your update and yeah, I'll update you once I get it hopefully. Got the dresser and the nightstand. So exciting. I'll do a little haul when I get home because I also got some candles and a few other things. They're open and I've been dying to come here. I, we're just gonna go inside really quick with masks on. I wanted to look at this bed frame and another thing. So we're gonna look really super fast. I will try to vlog a little bit while I'm in there, but it's probably gonna be a little stressful. I haven't been to any like super busy places like this. This is the bed I was thinking about getting. I love just like the basic headboard. It's this nice little bottom part. Got the IKEA items. I'm so excited. I literally cannot wait to build them. I love building IKEA furniture. I don't know if that's weird, but I, I love building them, so I'm really excited for that. IKEA was actually open, so um, I went in there and I kind of looked a little bit. There's actually a bed frame that I've been eyeing on the website, so I got to look at it in person, which was super fun. And um, I'm thinking about getting it, but I didn't end up getting it. I'm gonna go home and be smart and actually like measure the one that I have now. I do think it would look really nice, especially with the new furniture. I think it would match better. I would have kind of like the mom set. I just wanna show you a little haul of what I got from Ikea. I got a couple of these little glass mugs. I thought they'd be cute for like iced coffee. I will have everything linked below too in the description. I got two of these because I thought my sister would like one as well. We both drink iced coffee a lot. I just got a smaller version. Here is the difference. So I feel like you really can't tell, but this is actually quite small. And then I got a vanilla candle. I really like candles, but I feel like I don't burn them because I think a lot of them just have really strong scents. And yeah, so I like vanilla. So I thought I would get this and I couldn't really tell what the sizes would be because it comes in like, a bunch of different sizes so i just got the i think this was the biggest one almost the size of this plant that i already have so it's actually a lot bigger than i thought i get the smaller version when i go back that way i can have the big candle and the small candle maybe sitting next to each other also got a set of these glasses and it's basically kind of like a wine glass but without the stem and they're more like gray than I expected it to be. I thought it was just gonna be clear. Um, although it does say gray on the website, so I'm just um, I just think these glasses are super cute, like for iced coffee, water, wine, anything really. So I just thought they, these were cute. I've been wanting some glasses like this for a while. These are just kind of like the random things that I got in addition to the dresser and the nightstand. So I got the mom six drawer dresser and then the mom, I think it's just called the two drawer dresser, it's the nightstand. I will show you guys, I think I'm gonna start putting them together now. I'm telling you to call Ikea, like if you get a hold of somebody. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this is the layout. I just sorted everything. decided it was necessary before I get started that I change into something comfy so I just have bike shorts on and this oversized t-shirt it is super 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 hot out today I'm kind of a genius because I used my new mugs to put all the little tools in and this one I used my LED remote to separate the two different ones I'm just so smart okay I put everything in order of when I'm gonna need it Okay guys, we relocated to have some extra space. There's a little progress update. Looks like this is the front and this is where the doors will come out. It's kind of what it looks like so far. It's the update. Okay guys, the new dresser is built. The drawers aren't actually built yet, so just the dresser. We're about to move it here. So look, it's all empty. The old dresser is we are moving it out, but first I'm gonna vacuum because that area is kinda, it's been there for a long time. I was gonna have to rehang the mirror, but I actually think it'll be okay. So this is what it looks like many hours later, and I have an update for you. The dresser is in my room with drawers, built, completely done, like I'm still putting things in the drawers, filling it up, still need to figure out what to put on the top. Drawers are really deep and I feel like I have a lot more storage and I feel like it just looks really fresh and nice. This drawer here, um, I feel like it just looks really organized. It's got like sports bras, leggings, bike shorts, black leggings, like little black athletic shorts, socks, kind of like bralettes. update so the nightstand is pretty much 100% I just think it looks really nice and clean and sleek my dresser is 100% built um, obviously I just have a ton of stuff on it I replaced this corner with this little furry ottoman if you guys remember I got it like a month ago from Target and I put my plant that's over by my clothing rack over here just to see what a plant would look like but I think this looks really cute just because it kind of looked like a lot of furniture all in one corner like furniture 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 that kind of breaks it up I thought it would look kind of cute. That was kind of my vision when I got this. I moved my Ikea Alex drawers over here and my plant would still be here because I really like how that looks so I would just get a new plant. I actually took my vanity. It was kind of at this angle and I pushed it back more towards the wall. I don't like it against my wall for some reason. I get more pushed out. For some reason the lighting, it just seems brighter. That allowed a lot more room here. That's kind of where we're at. I don't know why the lighting looks really dark ordered this pompous grass off of Amazon and I will link it below and I got this little jar from Target cut them or anything I literally just put them in there and I think that'll look really cute on top of here I'm thinking about getting some more books like this maybe set like a little candle or something on top just to pick up a few more things. This is literally my goals. I love this couch, so whenever I get an apartment, you might see this. The bed that I'm looking at. This one does not have any drawers, so I'm considering if I should get it with the drawers or without the drawers. Okay, you guys, I mainly came for a plant and then to look at the bed, and I got all of the stuff. Not all of it's mine, some of it's my mom's. I'm not seeing a plant here that I like. But I found all of this stuff, so yay. I'll do a haul when I get home. I already have this one, and I really, really like it, but I don't think a second one of the same would look good. This is really quite the vibe I'm going for. 
Same with the grass. I think this would look too outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the bed. We are loading it up. Service here at Ikea. Thank you to my mom for her help. Ah. I got a lot of stuff I didn't necessarily need. Okay, well I didn't even make it out of the parking lot and I ran into the freaking thing. It just dinged up every single part of the bed. This is really hard on a metal thing. Just jammed the cart right into it. This is the actual bed frame too. Oh, I think it only got the cardboard. I think you're okay. We went to Ikea, picked out a whole bunch of things. I mostly went to go look at the bed. Also a few things I needed to get, like little dividers for my drawer. I needed to get a plant. I did get all of those random things and more. Also, got the bed. I'll do a little like kind of haul when I get back of the stuff I got. What's up? I'm back. I did change my shirt. I wanted to do a quick little Ikea haul. Really quickly, I just got some more hangers for my clothing rack. Not that I probably needed more, but I did get more. I also got this mirror. I will link everything down below. The mirror that I'm currently using, it's like this little tiny mirror. Like I'll be able to see better when I'm doing my makeup. I also got these little dividers for my drawers. I also got some candles, the same vanilla candle I already have. I don't know, I just wanted to keep it all nice and clean as a decoration and then get one to actually burn. Also got a smaller version maybe to also have as a decoration. This plant I got from Hobby Lobby, not from Ikea. I just wanted something kind of different to put here because I already have a plant here, but I need one for here. So really quick. Here is my bed now. I've had it since I was like a kid and it's been in my room my whole life. I feel like with the new dresser and the new nightstand, this is just not matching with everything else in my room. I think Louis sad, I think he likes my bed. I think he's kind of sad to see it go. Actually, I think I know what he wants. I can't even spell what he wants w? because he can spell. <laughs> oh no. Go on a W-A-L-K. W-A-L-K. <laughs> the building is about to commence been too difficult I wouldn't say I think the dresser is actually will end up being the hardest thing for progress got the metal thing in there okay I'm finally getting around to putting sticking the LED lights to the back of my headboard it looks like this is what my headboard like looks like so I don't know if I really showed you guys I'm just sticking them to the back of here we're just gonna cut like little like almost like little squares just like here and there um and put it on because i don't just want like a whole strip like glued to the back because it's like a brand new headboard and i don't want it to like peel the paint off um so we're just cutting like little parts to show you guys what i'm talking about see how we just cut the just cut the adhesive off like right here so that part right there is sticky but not the whole strip so stuck right here and it's so stuck right there that this part being loose like isn't gonna be a problem it looks like the back of my headboard is glowing for the corners we just like kind of wrapped it around i think they look really cool i just wanted to show you the end result of the room makeover it's now been a while i started this it was in may i filmed kind of like the before part in may it's now july i would say my room is pretty much 100 now there are a few little things i wanted to change which is why i was holding off on posting this because i wanted to make sure everything was 100 percent but i don't want to like wait any longer now so i'm just gonna go ahead and post it here is the final result of the room transformation starting over here i have my dresser and I have this new Ikea one um, rather than kind of like the old vintage one that I had before. It was actually really beautiful and it was really nice, um, but the drawers didn't have a lot of storage and they squeaked when I opened them. It needs like refinished. I just picked up this one from Ikea. It was fairly inexpensive. It looks a little bit more sleek and goes with the style of my room better. I really like that very simple it's very plain but that's what I wanted the top I just kept it quite clean and simple I'm gonna try and not get it 
cluttery like I had my old dresser. I have this Chanel book and then I bought this YSL one from Target and then this Kate Spade pink one from um, Amazon. And I think the little water stain is so cute. It actually comes like that. The books were about $20 each, but a lot of these kind of like cute designer books are like $50. So I got like two almost for the price of one by getting these two and I think they look super cute. Over here, I've got this pompous grass. I just got these from Amazon. I will link them below. They're just the color I was wanting, shape and size. And then I actually got this vase from Urban. I was waiting for it to come in. I just think it's super pretty. This little candle from Ikea, only a couple dollars. It's a vanilla scented candle. I just have this. I don't know if this really goes. It might look better without it, but I feel like it just kind of looks more personal over here. Uh, I've just had for a long time. It's from Urban Outfitters. This mirror I already had. It's from Target. That's what that looks like. And then over here, I just have this fuzzy ottoman sort of thing from Target. You guys saw me going to get this at Target, so I found a nice little spot for it over in this corner. And then I put this plant from Ikea. It was over by my clothing rack, but I moved it over here. I love this plant. It's like the perfect size and shape of plant. I'm telling you guys, it's super hard to find good plants, so if you're looking for a good one, I highly recommend this one. I got a little white vase on it. It was this vase from Ikea but I took it off to see if it would fit this plant because I got a new plant over here. I need to get another vase for it. It's literally just this plain white vase here. And then moving on, I have my nightstand. It's the exact same style as the dresser, if you can't tell, the mom style. I tried to keep this fairly simple. Just have that same kind of candle from Ikea, just a flower vase. I've honestly had that in my room for years. I don't know where it's from, probably Hobby Lobby, Michaels, probably some kind of craft store. I have a little sparkly, like this little polar frame of a couple of my friends and I in Chicago. And then this lamp, I thought about getting a new one, but I think it's fine. But I think something a little more modern looking might look better, but this one is fine for now. Also had this in my room room pretty much as long as I can remember so I I don't know where it's from probably Target and I just have this friends coaster from the Warner Brothers studio tour I forgot to show you guys I got these little dividers from Ikea and they are so nice you basically get a pack with a bunch of different shapes these are two little square ones um, but I highly recommend these so look at my little dog that's my dog on my on a pair of socks moving on to my bed you might not be able to tell because it doesn't look much different, but I actually did get a new bed um, frame. I got this mom bed frame from Ikea, so it's not a huge difference, but the headboard I had before was just kind of white and like swirly wood and it looked more kind of like antique, maybe shabby chic, um, whereas this one just looks really modern. I love plain and simple, um, so this is just like everything I wanted, like it's just so plain, like it could not be more plain. And then the bottom has like these wood drawers so you can get it with or without the drawers and if you get it without the drawers like it's literally just like if you took the drawers out and then it just has like the wood here i feel like it just looked kind of empty on the bottom so i did end up putting the drawers there and it also gives me a ton of extra storage so if you are looking into getting this bed i would definitely recommend getting the drawers but this is what the drawers look like. This is just one drawer. So I put a ton of sweatshirts in here. Like there is more. Like it literally goes back. Put a ton of sweatshirts in here. You guys know I have a sweatshirt problem if you've been watching my channel. It's kind of alleviated some of the space in my closet so it's not so full. So I just kind of put them in here and really just saved a lot of space in my closet. I think this is just so aesthetic looking. I love it. This was the same bedding I had before. My duvet cover, is that the right word? Is from Urban Outfitters. It's really soft, but it gets like, it just looks really wrinkly. It never looks smooth, but it is really soft. Link it below. It's like a t-shirt kind of material. So from Urban Outfitters, they're the t-shirt, jersey, knit sheets. Um, I would so recommend them. It literally feels like your, like your sheets are like a, old worn in t-shirt like they're so soft and comfortable like i love the t-shirt jersey sheets these pillows i think were all from target the tan ones my mom made them she just got some fabric and like pillows and made them above my bed <laughs> i know this isn't centered i need to fix that it is from urban outfitters but i honestly don't really think i like it here anymore i feel like i need something different but i just don't know when i show you the rest of the room tour i think you'll know why because i already have mirrors 
in a couple places in my room. I already have picture frames in a couple places in my room and I already have like shelves in a couple places in my room and I already have plants. So I literally, I'm left with like no ideas of what to put above my bed. So if you have any suggestions, I would absolutely love to hear. Um, so right now I'm just leaving this here. I know it needs to be recentered. Moving on to this corner of my room, nothing really changed here. Down here, <laughs> You know, I spent a lot of money on this plant. You guys can watch my vlog where I got this plant if you want, I will link it here. I just thought it looked so cute when I saw it at the little plant store because it kind of looks like a palm tree. I love California and I just wanted my room to kind of have a little bit of a California vibe. There are no palm trees where I live in the middle of the US. And so I just wanted to bring a little bit of my favorite place in my room. And I realized that it needs like full sunlight. So it has to be right here in like the most random spot by my window. Like I wanted to put it somewhere cute. I'm gonna paint this white, like a glossy white. So it hasn't actually really been planted yet or potted yet. I'm gonna realize, I'm gonna make like a to-do list while I'm editing this, but I think it's cute. Over here, this got a little upgrade. These came in a set from Target. I think those are really cute and I got like the California vibe that I'm wanting. It's like super like chill um, with the light colors. So love, love those. As far as my vanity, the biggest upgrade over here, like on this was probably this mirror. I got it from Ikea. It was very inexpensive. It was like $14 and it's honestly life-changing when I'm doing my makeup. You guys have to get this mirror. Everything else on here is the same. I actually took off a whole bunch of things and made it look really clean and uncluttered. Somehow I put a whole bunch more on there. So now it's like kind of cluttery again. Here I have my Alex nine drawer. I've always wanted it by my vanity because it has like all my makeup in it. So this just makes so much more sense. On top of it, I just have this little Ikea plant, my Glossier perfume I use every day, my Glossier hand cream that smells like the perfume that I use. I have my pink Polaroid camera and then this other pink little plant, I like pink and girly. This, I just have my jewelry over here. It used to be on my dresser. I wanted to keep that space a little decluttered and just clean looking. So I moved it over here. I think it looks nice. And it's kind of where I'm getting ready anyway. So I feel like, it makes sense. And I just have these sunglasses sitting here right now. Nothing really changed here, but I've just got my Ikea clothing rack. Love this, like 10 out of 10 recommend. I will also link that below. I think it was also only like $15 or something. It was fairly inexpensive and I've had it for a while now and it's really held up. Also got a little spot down here to put your shoes. Got wheels as well. So if you've got hardwood floors, you can just roll it all around. This and then you can kind of like put purses on the end or hats like I have over there. So this is like the perfect clothing rack. So I took my plant from here and put it over here. But then I felt like this area just looks kind of empty without a plant. I feel like I needed the plant to kind of balance it out with the Ikea 9 drawer. I ended up picking up another plant, um, Hobby Lobby. I don't like this plant as much as the Ikea one, but I didn't want two plants that were the exact same. So this one's just a little smaller. In my last outfits video, you might have noticed there wasn't a pot on the bottom. It just looked kind of weird and empty without the pot, so I went to see if the Ikea one would fit it. And then my other upgrade over here was just the LED lights, which I have been obsessed with. Like literally, I just love the LED lights. Like they are so nice. That is the room transformation. I know it's not like a huge transformation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like to see more kind of like decoration videos on my channel. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at emilygrace.26 for daily updates. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn on that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!